me and my team built some online interactive practice questions for CompTIA Plus, which you can use for 100% free. These particular sets of questions are for the 220-1101 and 220-1102 Core 1 and Core 2 exams. So today, I'm going to show you how to use the online practice questions, which is very easy. I'm going to show you how to use an offline version of those, like an offline Anki deck. And I'm going to talk about how I would go about passing the A plus if I were to do it again today. I do want to say we have a whole bunch of other practice exams as well, such as Network Plus, Security Plus, CISSP, and we're also developing questions for ITIL, which has a whole bunch of job hits on Indeed. So keep an eye out for that one. So if you're interested in working in IT or getting A plus, this is probably the easiest, most economic, cheapest way to do it. So definitely keep watching. Also, I do teach a quality hands-on IT course through Course Careers, where we cover all those basic topics like Active Directory ticketing systems, VPNs, we even touch on Azure, all of that basic stuff that you're expected to know for entry level help desk role. So definitely check that out. A lot of people have gotten jobs with it. I'll put a link on the screen as well as in the description. So getting into how to use the practice exam, super easy. Just go to joshmaticor.tech slash a dash plus and you'll be greeted with a page that looks something like this. I just separated everything out into the exam objectives for core one and core two. So for example, if you're, you're just now starting, maybe you want to start with core one mobile devices. So you just click on this, the exam should load and you can start. Uh, obviously you would read the question and answer it. What are serial interfaces used by uh, USB and SAS devices? And regardless of you, if you get it correct or incorrect, it will give you an explanation of the answer below, as well as where you can kind of read more about it. So all of these questions that I put on here, like the core one and core two practice questions, they're all based on these two books. Um, they're just basically books that you can get on Amazon. You don't have to get the book. Um, you can just go through the practice exam and read about it. And then, you know, Google this or use chat GPT if you want to learn more about it. But that's basically... Um, how to go about using the online practice exam. But if you use the online version, it, it it won't keep your progress or anything like this. You just kind of have to go through it and it's not gonna remember which ones you got wrong. Um, so that's kind of where the offline version comes into play. So if you'd like to use the offline version, which I would recommend because it keeps track of all of your progress and like what you're doing, which ones you've got correct, incorrect, and it implements a spaced repetition component. Um, all you have to do is scroll down here. This can be, um, on the main page as well, like the main uh, A plus page. Um, it should be on all the pages. So you just like enter your email address, like joshmaticor2 at gmail.com or you know, whatever it is. And you should get an email that looks something like this. Um, the deck is delivered to you in the form of an Anki deck. Um, so if you don't know, Anki is like a smart flashcard system. So you need to download and install Anki first, which is free for a desktop and Android and Mac, so download that, and then you download the deck. And then when you open it, it will look something like this. Um, you may have to like go to file and import, but you should just be able to double click the file um, and it will open it and automatically import it. Otherwise, you know, go to file and import the thing that you downloaded. And it just looks something like this. It's the exact same thing, um, but it will keep track of your progress. Also, um, Basically, the way you use this is you look at this and you, you guess like which one it is. And so you think like, okay, I think it, the answer is A. And you say show answer. And it was A. And if it was easy, just say easy. If it was like hard, you say hard. If you failed it, you would say again. Um, again, it will give you the correct answer explanation as well as the incorrect answer explanation where you can find it in the book. And it's pretty much the same way. You would just like go through this, right? And if you don't know how Anki and SRS works, I might recommend watching this video. I don't want to explain like the whole thing uh, in this video, but it's really powerful learning tool and it helps you learn uh, a lot of stuff in a relatively short period of time. So I would recommend using the offline version of it, to be honest. But if you're just like on your phone or something on like the bus or train or whatever the case may be, the online version will work just fine. So getting into how I would go about passing A plus if I were to do it again today, I have this three phase approach that I like to use. It includes the priming phase, learning phase and the polishing phase. Basically, the priming phase is I just get a, a brief overview of all the topics I need to learn. The learning phase is kind of the most labor intensive deep dive learning portion where I, I go over and kind of quote unquote learn all the material. And then the polishing phase is I just basically go back and re-review the stuff that I got wrong during the learning phase or the stuff that was difficult during the learning phase. So for the priming phase, I would, I would for A+, I would just recommend using Professor Messer's videos because they're like succinct and to the point and they're 
high production. They're just really good, to be honest. So I would take a few days and just go over his like core one and core two videos. Don't You don't have to like take super in-depth notes or anything. I wouldn't even almost recommend not taking notes. Just watch the videos and make sure you understand what he's talking about. And then for phase two, the learning phase, I recommend just going through all of these practice questions, these like 1500 plus, or if you're doing like core one, like one, one exam at a time, just go through all of the practice questions for that. Like take your time and like try to learn the material like as you're going through the questions. If you're using the web version, I might recommend marking the ones you got wrong down, like putting them in like a separate document or something. If you're using the offline one, it will kind of keep track of the ones you got wrong for you. But just go through every single question. Like once you've gone through every single practice question, um, that kind of signifies the end of the learning phase. And then getting into the polishing phase, that's when you re-review the questions, like specifically the ones you got wrong and make sure that you can cons you, you learn them, right? And then you're consistently answering all the practice questions, especially the ones you got wrong. So once you've gone through all of those and then re-reviewed the ones you got wrong and you, you're starting to feel like pretty good and it's becoming boring to do the practice questions because you're like, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting all these right. Then you might consider scheduling the exam because it's, it's good to be thorough in your preparation because you don't want to fail an exam and like, you know, waste money, I guess. Um, so yeah, that is my three phase approach the priming phase, the learning phase, and the polishing phase. And I do want to say certification is really important, but don't try not to laser focus on that. There's a lot of stuff that you have to care about. Definitely check out this video. It's called Employability Framework, where I talk about all of the different stuff that you should care about if you want to be highly employable to like a broad range of employers. Basically, if you think about it, imagine you, you have Security Plus in your hand, and a lot of people think that that's enough to get a job. And it it is very helpful, but if you have Security Plus, but you don't have like good hygiene, or you wear like pajamas to your interview, or you don't know how to interview, or your resume is like really horrible, you won't, you know, you don't even get a chance to interview. Um, there's just a lot of stuff you have to care about. Getting A plus is is hard, right? And it's good. It's good to have it. It's kind of like getting one of the hard parts out of the way. But there, you just have to care about a lot of other stuff. So I would, I would definitely check out this employability framework video. People, I, I want people to get out, out of this mindset where they think they can like get a cert and like trade it for a job, or like the cert itself is intrinsically valuable. Like it's good to have on your resume, but you know it's just a, a small piece of the pie, if that makes sense. But yeah, for sure, definitely watch the employability framework video. It's really important. Again, check out my hands-on IT course. It's it's pretty good, and I it's kind of based on the employability framework where it talks about all the stuff you kind of have to care about and it helps you to become um, like a good package overall, like a good applicant, if that makes sense. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Best of luck on your studies and we'll see you in the next video.